So, it really doesn't say... I guess, you know, I'll probably start at the end. Because, you know, I got the key over at Bell's Harbor's Inn, so... I mean, it would make sense, wouldn't it? What was this? Oh, I... Have I gone to this one before? I think I have. But, double check. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, it's... okay. Hmm. Well... But I don't recall the end location, that's the thing. I've already been in there. Could that be it, right there? So, I mean, in for an in, I mean, wouldn't you think? Is this the end? Oh! Was that it? Oh, I... Well, that's... That's a side quest. containers to go, but I don't know where to go for them. Should I just complete the game? And go back to finding stuff later? Well, I mean, I could always... go back in or something? Or wait a second here. Yeah, and I want to save it one more time in my own volition. Oh, I remember now. That spot was to get into the... I've never been back, Baird.
Whoops. Wrong button. Now I tried to hit him while he was like that. Didn't work. Oh. I got him. There's Ocean's heart. But what am I supposed to do? Oh! That'll do it! Yeah, I'd actually do the same thing, too, if it was causing that many issues. But where's Papa? Papa! Oh, there he is. She's armed to the teeth, but missing four... Huh. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of space. Thank you very much, Max Mraz. Or I don't know how to pronounce your last name. Well... Amazing. This was actually a really good game, of course. I'm very <laughs> directionally challenged in some of these kind of games when I'm not familiar with them. So... Well, the game's completed. So this is my ending thoughts here. It's a really wonderful kind of game. You know, Legend of Zelda. There is Legend of Zelda references in it. Um, it made me too overpowered. And you know how some older games, yeah, they're like that. Um, just felt like there could have been just a little bit more, but, but that's just me. Uh, a lot of space on the map feels like it was wasted, because there's a lot of open space out there. Um, man. I guess Ocean's Heart is a one-time thing, but I would love to see a part two to something, like, uh, of how all this stuff could have happened, you know, bring out some more lore to the game to see how the world actually flooded, which would actually probably bring more uh, more areas to explore because I made made the mistake because I also because I forgot it's like yeah the world has been flooded and I made it one video it's like uh, you know flooded uh, world vibes but I would like to see a notion's heart like a part two like a prequel of how the world did get flooded but that's just me of course, there have to be a heck of a lot more stuff, new items, you know, new things, just a whole bunch of new everything. Graphics, I love. 
uh, you know, their pixel pixelated gra graphics, because, you know, I grew up around that stuff in the 80s and 90s. Huge, you know, huge Legend of Zelda vibes, you know, like I said. The soundtrack is absolutely phenomenal. Items... It makes you a, a type of challenge to find everything. Um, I think I might have found all the side quests. I'm not quite sure. I really can't find no proper guides out there. Because, um... What I was trying to find is uh, the Lost Key. And I couldn't find nothing. Other guides was just like, you know, just, just go through the entire story, but I didn't read th through all of it. Just like maybe one-eighth of it. So I didn't spoil nothing for myself. So I have absolutely no idea on all the other stuff out there. I really do feel that there's four more heart containers out there, so... I did not, of course, you know, I saved the game on the, before, you know, as you all saw. Because I could always go back and find uh, all the other stuff, but I'm um, just pretty much going to put this uh, video as the finale. I had lots of fun. I had a, lots and lots of fun. I'll make another video about this game probably next week or whenever this video is uploaded I'll work on something else for it because um, I had a blast playing this and a friend of mine referenced the, this to me and then another friend of mine played this and they kind of hinted at some stuff without spoiling anything as I was commenting about the library and stuff like that but it was some someplace else, which was you know, with another side quest I, you know, accidentally picked up. But all in all, do I recommend this game? Absolutely. I got over ten hours of gameplay in this. Uh, I didn't speed run or anything. It, uh, I don't know what else to say about this game. I actually really deeply enjoyed myself. I just love finding the items, love finding secret stuff, and I absolutely love the soundtrack. Some things could be improved, true, but I just feel that uh, some stuff could be done just a little bit differently, but again, I'll do a video about this in the future. So for now, I will end this video there. I'm, uh, in honesty, I'm probably not going to go back to this, but I'll keep it here in case if I ever want to scar the entire landscape. Um for the four last remaining hearts, but I'll do that on my own time. So yeah, this video will be listed as a finale. But uh, but yeah, thanks to the creator and all of those involved in making this game, I actually really deeply enjoyed myself. So for now, I shall bid you all adieu. Zaren here at Dirt Cat Arcade signing out for now with a completed game. So I'll look into, uh, of course, doing Metroid Dread. That's what I'm currently doing right now. And I'll probably finish up uh, Symphony of the Night since it's been a couple of months. Trying to debate on going along with Alundra, but that's going to take a heck of a long time. And that's something um, that I will do it later in the future, but right now there's other things I want to focus on. So, but I shall bid you all adieu on this final one. So, you all have a good night. Take care and stay safe. See you later.